Listings are going to sell when they get ready. You are not the real estate guide and there's not going to be a whole lot after you price it right, put it on MLS, give it a good online presence, everything we're going to talk about in a minute and put it out there. Basically in front of every possible buyer through all the syndicated websites and the online presence and all the social media and everything that's out there, it's in front of everybody, okay, so to speak. So it's in front of your buyers. If you've done what you're supposed to do on the front end, then that listing will sell and you got to be patient a lot of times. These things don't happen overnight. Sometimes listings do sell in a day, and that's wonderful, but on average, they do not. If you want to make a meal a year, if you want to do all that stuff, you have to give up some time here or there with family. You know, like you have to give up some of that. But the thing is, is you don't, don't call it work-life balance. Call everything life. Because when you're with your family, you give them 100% of you. And then when you're at work, you give that 100% of you. And so you're given everything, every little part, all you have. So now it's all work or all life, but it's all the same thing. Right now, guys, you should be thinking, how big can I get my database? Between effort per deal is at an all-time high, especially for new agents. All-time high, effort per deal. Effort per relationship or friendship created, same as it's always been. Get out there and build your database during this time. Make that be the goal. At the end of 2021, you should see a massive increase in your database. Maybe you sell more than you sold last year. Maybe you sell the same. Maybe you see all less. I don't know. I don't care. How big did we grow our database this year? Because that's going to dictate where we're going to be in the next two years. And that's what I care about. You know, just anything, anything I can do to help. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. And then also, I want you to think about that transition because you, you, you didn't hit that transition just right from them saying they're not interested to is there an agent you would work with. Like, I want you to go back and rewind this and watch this little piece. Mm -hmm. There was like, there was, like, you have to really stick this because this is where the awkward point in the call is when they say they're not interested and they're like, okay, see you later. Mm -hmm. You got to like, you got to get in there quick. And you got to say, cool, well, look, hey, is, is there an agent you would work with? Mm -hmm. You know, it's like you got you to gotta come in there fast and hard because that's the point that they're wanting to hang up right then. I think a few things to think about are you overestimate what you can do short term and you underestimate what you can do long term. You're overestimating what you think you can do right now. I'll do 50 this year and 100 next year. I'll be right there where Ricky is. Doesn't work like that. 